www.dr.com. We're going to take a look at uh, the scope serve, um, a phenomenally uh, well featured, well documented, well supported, cost effective asterisk solution. I'm extremely impressed with this product and thought I'd share this with you. Uh, you log into the administrative portal of the um, scope server just by pointing your browser at the IP address. Uh, port 5555 is the standard uh, to get you into the administrative console. And then you'll come into a administrative uh, portal that has a, a, a metaphor that um, you should be familiar with. You'll have your links, uh, your administrative links on the left side. And they also are available across the top of the page. Uh, what you'll notice is that the good folks at ScopeServe have uh, enabled you to configure your server options. Uh, everything from uh, setting up uh, SM, SNMP, uh, 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 managing your licenses, setting up your SQL server. I have a habit when I install an asterisk device of also installing um, web, web admin, which is a um, freeware solution you can find out on the net. But a lot of times you want to get on your asterisk box and, and manipulate um, your, your Apache server, set up the HCP, maybe configure uh, IP tables and, and, and use the box as a firewall as well. The good folks at um, ScopeServe, uh, I don't have to do that. It's actually built into the product, their own uh, version of managing your asterisk box as a server. Uh, there's a network section, so we can go in here and make a decision about how we want to uh, set up our network services. Um, I would recommend putting two NIC cards in, 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 the, in the box uh, so that you could use it uh, as the firewall, as well as your DHCP server, DNS server, your VPN uh, client server. It's got radius capability. It's just a wonderfully well thought out uh, um, asterisk solution, uh, but it's it's got the wisdom that ScopeServe has brought uh, to the table and have wrapped that um, asterisk kernel into a product that is just wonderfully featured, um, well documented. The documentation that came with the product was um, uh, the best I have seen from any of the distros in the marketplace today. Um, I also found tech support with these guys to be just super. So. Um, Go ahead and um, configure your network options. You'll have to put the basic licensing in, and then you'll head off here to the telephony section of the box. And there, the ability to uh, set up your voice over IP uh, providers, set up your voice over IP accounts, create classes of service, uh, create phones, uh, literally, I think it took me 20 minutes to bring this thing up uh, after I downloaded the ISO, uh, burned my CD. I had this uh, this box up and working. Connecting to my um, ITSP for VoIP services was uh, just straightforward and worked out of the box. Uh, class of service is an important part of how uh, features and functions are allocated in the scope server box. The box also has multiple tenant capabilities. So you can actually have multiple companies on a box um, and then set up your telephones and your VoIP accounts and assign them to tenants so that um, uh, dial nine gets tenant A to its services and dial nine for tenant B uh, gets to a different set of service providers. Uh, you have a complete uh, um, embedded uh, ACD system, which I'll, I'll show you some of the capabilities that we have with the ACD. Uh, auto attendant, conferencing, um, it's all here and it's uh, very well done. You, you would probably uh, start by bringing up some extensions um, when you add an extension, you can either add uh, a single 
extension or add multiple extensions. It'll ask you for a range, and then uh, you'll go ahead and uh, populate the information uh, with respect to authentication. Is this user going to have voicemail? Uh, what, what phone options? Uh, provisioning phones here is um, among the best I have seen. They have uh, built-in templates that enable you to auto-provision a wide range of phones. Uh, you can set up your caller ID, most of your user options, including uh, Find Me, Follow Me, personal IVR capabilities, ACD. Um, there's just nothing missing in this product in terms of what its, uh, uh, what its feature capabilities are. I was able to um, bring up my extensions. I think I have one here. I've got uh, this guy up and running here, and I'll be using him uh, to demo some of the connectivity with the Shortel box. Um, in the area of provisioning uh, voice over IP accounts, I was able to create a tie line uh, to the Shortel. Very straightforward. Um, I uh, I have a DID account. Um, I had previously created my SIP account to my ITSP. I set up a, de a destination uh, for uh, calls arriving on this circuit. I set up my security, uh, and we had this uh, we had this circuit up and running in absolutely no time. Uh, with respect to the tie line to Shortel. Uh, again, very straightforward, gave it a name, uh, signed it to a tenant, uh, uh, had the choice of um, setting up SIP or IAX or H323. Uh, obviously, with the short tell, you're going to select SIP and set up a friend uh, pointing to the server. A username and password were basically what you filled in in the short tell in the trunk group. Uh, so. When you set up authentication, uh, you put in a username and password uh, such that the scope serve in this uh, instance would uh, um, register with the short tell. And you'd go ahead and put in your short gear switch or virtual IP address, and uh, we're up and running. This uh, connectivity was uh, easy to establish. And uh, I've created a class of service um, for the tie line uh, that described how to handle incoming calls, how to handle my outbound calls. And we had this guy up and running in no time. Uh, Scope Server has an embedded um, queuing strategy where you could set up your customer service uh, crew. Uh, select your announcements, uh, your, you know, queue messages, uh, set up your, your, your members, uh, establish failback, uh, queuing options, agent options, real-time reporting options. It's uh, just, it's, it's exceptionally well done. There is a browser-based uh, interface to the reporting system, scope stats, part of key part of the system. You can go in here and and set up panels, uh, define the panels. For example, I've, I've set up a panel here for extensions. I can see the status of my extensions. Uh, I even have a capability here in which you can bring up a, a virtual phone, and this virtual phone will then take on the characteristics of whatever phone you want to assign it to. So in this case, I've, I've just made it extension 404. Uh, very useful for troubleshooting. Uh, you can uh, create your panels to reflect extensions, the status of your voice over IP uh, peers, uh, look at uh, queuing, uh, see uh, who's in a queue, uh, just define a series of uh, custom call boards, if you will, wall boards. Down in the reporting section itself, uh, you'll find that um, there's call, call detail records. 
uh, for just about uh, every characteristic of the system that you would like to derive some information on internal calls, outgoing calls, incoming calls, it's, it's got it all. I, am, I even discovered one of my uh, favorite um, solutions here on the auto attendant, uh, how many times you've ever wanted to find out how many people pressed one for accounting or two for support. You can actually get a report here based on the keys that are depressed, uh, calls by date, calls by hour, etc the um, automatic call distribution reporting package is exceptional there's um, a whole variety of uh, um, call summaries based on uh, things like calls answered abandoned calls distribution level service level agents it, there's even wrap-up codes so in terms of um, a fully featured uh, solution from the asterix community um, Obviously, this is uh, we've moved from freeware into a paid product, but I, I can assure you that the functionality these guys have added to the system and the uh, features that they have and continue to define, as well as the reporting package, the user interface, uh, even the individual extensions have a browser-based interface. Um, the technical support and the documentation are just superior to anything I've seen in the uh, in the Asterix marketplace. So I hope you have found this informative.